I think the very first important thing for all political leaders to realize there is a need to go beyond economics in the traditional sense. Uh, we are rational beings. Behavioral economics, the subject of a Gallup forum in Singapore, integrates insights from human behavior and psychology with traditional economic measures. But understanding fluctuations in human behavior is key to the application of behavioral economics. And Gallup is at the helm of this study. I think that understanding of what people feel, understanding of uh, citizens' desires, understanding of what uh, um, the society is expecting from leaders is very critical. Gallup provides the data and leaders should use that data to make sure that they understand what are the policies and the norms required for the betterment of their citizens. What makes experiences in life pleasant? What determines if you're happy or sad? And how do we measure that accurately? Nobel laureate and a professor at Princeton University, Dr. Danny Kahneman, is a pioneer in the field of behavioral economics, studying human psychology. You can measure it by the flow of experiences that the person has you know, from moment to moment, or you can measure it whether at the end of the day the person said this was a good day. And it turns out those two are fairly different, they're really not the same. What you want to do is you want to measure both because they're both significant. So how do governments and business leaders use behavioral economics to help drive policy decisions? Right now the global economy is suffering. Should investors and economists begin to rely more heavily on measurements of human behavior to help predict economic movement? Behavioral economics is not a replacement for classical economic theory. It's an additional twist. It's an additional uh, factor that you have to throw into the mix. A lot of things in classical economics work um, and work very well, but that doesn't explain everything. It's critical to understand on a continuous basis what is the, uh, what motivates people, what engages people, what makes people optimistic, what makes people a desire to progress, what makes people entrepreneurial, what makes people ambitious. All those soft things that usually classic economics doesn't touch so that uh, leaders in the companies or societies can continuously shape the policies and the norms inside the, the, the companies to, uh, to continue uh, progress.